Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. I would normally do the head to head comparisons. Today I've chosen to do a three way head to head between uh, three of the most common uh, brands on the market for boxing boots. We've got the Nike or Nike Hyper KO. Uh, the great boots, I love these boots. People know that I love these boots. You can tell from the videos that I've done in the past, I love these boots. When they bought out their newer range of colours, I love them even more. And I have got quite a few pairs of the Nike Hyper KO boots. Love them. Then we come on to the Reebok Book boots. Um, with these, they came out, Amir Khan used to uh, wear, and Floyd Mayweather used to wear the previous incarnation of the Reebok boots. Then they bought out these boots, and at first, I didn't like them as much as I liked the old boots. But I have to say, over time, I have grown to love these boots again. I think they're great boots. A lot of people at the gym have got these boots. Uh, also, they've bought out lots of new colours as well, um, which en enhances the range of what Reebok do in these boots. Great boots. And then on the end there, we've got Adidas or Adidas, and these are the 16.1 Speedex version. Adidas have bought out a load of new boxing boots. There's some really great designs, and one of the best designs I think that they've bought out has been the Speedex 16.1. So I wanted to bring you this versus, 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 um, a three-way head-to-head. I am going to do it when I'm going to be awarding 10 points to the winner of the round, 9 points to sort of the second, um, and if there is one of these that deserves to have lower than that, it would be an 8 or a 7 or a 6, dependent on the uh, the difference between the rounds. But I want to start off by saying that I think that all of these boots are great boots. Uh, it is very much down to personal preference, but I have got a score for you at the end. But let's go through the rounds. Round one, brand. Now I'm going to do the brand on how much the brands are involved in combat sports and in boxing. Not so much, you know, just what's the biggest brand. So with the Nike, they mainly do boxing boots. They, they don't really do like gloves in boxing. Their real sort of forte is their boxing boots. So I'm going to give them nine points. Reebok, they do uh, boxing boots. They do uh, gloves. They also sponsor the UFC. So I think that they have put a bit more into combat sports than, than Nike has. And so for that reason, I will give Reebok a 10 in this round. And then Adidas, a wide range of boxing gear. You can pretty much get anything from boots, gloves, equipment, training, uh, trainer's gear. You can pretty much get anything to do with boxing from Adidas. And so for that reason, I will give 10 points to Adidas as well. So round one, brand, 9 points, 10 points, 10 points. Round two, toe. When it comes to the Nike's toe, um, I do like it, but as you know, there is some boots where that does come away, um, which obviously does wreck the boots. I've had a couple of pairs where that has happened, and it's a real shame because the rest of the boot is fine, including the sole, but that has just come away there, and I've had to glue it, and it's never really been the same. So for that reason, I am going to give this round 8 points for that. Then we come on to Reebok, and it's a good solid toe on the Reebok. It does what it needs to do. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the, the toe on the Reeboks, and I will give that 9 points for this round. And then we come to my favourite one out of the three for toe, and that I do like how that curls up. That does prevent the, um, the, the splitting like it happens on the Nike Hyper KOs, that, that curl up does mean that that is harder for that to happen on. And so for this round, that is going to be 10 for the Adidas. Uh, we're going with 10 points, 9 points, and 8 points in round number 2, toe. 
Round number three, Soul. The Soul of the Hyper KO, I do like how it curls up around the boot, at the heel and round the sides. And that is a very good functional sole. For that reason, I'm going to give that 10 points. On the Reebok, you've got a basic functional flat sole. No frills really. So I will give that 9 points. And then I do really like the, the sole on the Adidas. Curls up at the front. Um, it's great grip on the canvas from the sole. And so that is a 10 points. So for round number three, we have 10 points, 9 points, 10 points. Round number four, and we're talking about the heel. The heel on the Nike, good solid heel. Really like how it comes up from the sole there. And that is 10 points for that heel. Then we come on to the good solid heel of the Reebok but I don't like it as much as the Nike and so for that reason that's a 9 points and again we have that quite a solid heel at the back there for the Adidas but again I do feel that the Nike Hyper KO has the edge when it comes to heel 10 points, 9 points, 9 points then we're coming on to round number 5 outer and inner side Okay, so I'll show you both sides of each of the boots. And I just think that with this boot, they did a great job. I love how it looks and how it's made. And that's a 10-point round for that boot. Then, again, like how this looks, perhaps not as much as the Nike. Uh, but they have got some great colours now in this boot. Uh, and of course they've got the croc skin ones as well, which I really, really love. So, but that one in the normal sort of stock colours, 9 points for that. And then on to the Adidas. Again, a nice looking and very functional boot. I like how it's sort of very subtle with the Adidas stripes. I really like that sort of rubber there that supports the rear of the boot. But again, I don't think that it stacks up um, in terms of outer and in to the Nike. So we have 10 points, 9 points and 9 points. Then we come on to round number 6, laces and tongue. Okay, so you've got there, you've got that Velcro strap across the base of the laces. The laces go up and then you've got that tongue there. And so that's 10 points for the laces and the tongue on the Nike. Also on the Reebok, I do like that Velcro strap across the front of the laces. And again, I'm going to give that 10 points for that. There's nothing wrong uh, with the laces and the tongue on the Adidas. But I do like the other two better. And so this is going to get 9 points for this round. So, for that round, which is Laces and Tongue, round 6, 10 points, 10 points, and 9 points. Then we come on to round number 7, Ankle. On there, you've got the fly wire around the ankle. Also, it goes up, that mid-cut boot goes up, and provides very good, stable support for your ankle when you're using these. 10 points for the Hyper KO. On there you have got, as I've mentioned, you've got that Velcro that gives a little bit more support around the ankle. And as you can see, it's nice high up there in that mid-cut boot again. And so again, 10 points for the Reebok. For this one, this one I think is a little low for me. I like a higher boot and this one having that lower ankle I do think that that means that that is a 9 point round for the Adidas. Okay, so for that round, which is ankle, 10 points, 10 points, 9 points. Round number 8, quality and durability. When it comes to the Hyper KO, I've seen that the soles can wear quickly 
especially if you use them outside the ring. I do only try and use mine just for the canvas. Um, and I have got some boots that I've just used in the ring and they've, they've lasted me years. But of course, as soon as you use that, say on say concrete or, or wood floor, that can start to wear quite quickly. Then of course you have got that toe issue which I have mentioned. So I'm going to give 9 points to the Hyper KO. These boots from Reebok, very durable, as are the Adidas ones. And for that reason, both of those are going to get 10 points for this round. So round number 8, quality and durability, 9 points, 10 points, 10 points. Round number 9, comfort. 10 points straight away for the Nike Hyper KO. All very comfortable boots these are, but I think these are really comfortable when you're using them. I've never had any sort of uh, pain or any rubbing or anything like that when I've been using a pair of the Hyper KOs. Really comfortable boots. If you've got a little wider feet, then Reebok may be the answer for you. And again, very comfortable. I wouldn't consider myself to have wide feet, um, but even with my feet, which are a little bit narrower, they're still a great comfort boot for me. And then on the Adidas, these are a little bit of a narrow boot. Um, on the website, Adidas do say to order one size up. So I have found that these run true to size, these run true to size, but Adidas actually themselves are saying order a size up. So if this was myself, I wear UK 11, UK 11, and I'd have to go for a UK 12 in the Adidas. Okay. Uh, just a, a point on that, I've mentioned it before in another video. On these boots, the Nike Hyper KO, sometimes if you look in there, so if you look there, that is saying a size 12. That is a US size 12. If it's got two sizes, it indicates that it is a UK 11 or a US 12. So I just want to point that out to you as well. I would hate for you to think that that was a size 12 boot. It's not. It's a size 11. Okay, so for that round, which was comfort, round number 9, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. All very comfortable boots. Round number 10, style. In my opinion, this boot is the king of design cues. The flywire, the velcro strap, the way that the sole wraps up around it. I just love the colourways as well. 10 points for that boot on style. This boot, nice looking boot, it has grew on me. When, I first, when it first came out, I wasn't that keen, uh, but the new colours that they've bought out certainly mean that there's some nice looking boots in the range. So, 9 points for the Reebok. Uh, just to point out at this stage, the ones that I've got which are croc skin, the black croc skin. I've also got a white pair of croc skin. Obviously, to me, they're, they're like an 11 out of 10 now. They're superb. But I wanted to base this on the normal the more normal stock colours. Again, for style, the Adidas boot is very stylish. I really do like it, but I have to say I don't think it competes with the Nike Hyper KO. And for that reason, round 10 style, 10 points, 9 points, 9 points. Round 11, performance. These perform great in the ring, as do the Reebok. Um, I think that the Adidas suffer a little bit from the fact that the, the, the ankle is a bit too low for me. So for this round, it's 10 points, 10 points and 9 points. They still perform well, the Adidas, but as I say, when it comes to the whole um, sort of performance of the boot, I do think on a boxing boot, the ankle is very important. So round number 11, performance 10 10 and 9. Then we come on to the final round, round number 12, value for money. £169.99. I think that is worth every single penny, but that is an expensive boot for people to buy, especially when you compare it to the two other boots. This boot here 
is currently £74.95. Um, the top of the range boots, which is sort of the Legacy Limited, uh, which is the white croc skin ones that I've showed you before, they're £160. Um, so at £74.95, these are a hell of a boot. Uh, great, great value. Um, I've been onto Reebok's website and, and some of the colours on these, they're coming out at the minute, they've got them on offer and they're £35. So, you know, incredible value for money. Then on to the Adidas, £109 and I do think that they're worth that. But in terms of the price, uh, value for money, round 12, 8 points to the Nike because it's a big price tag. 10 points to the fabulous value that you get with the Reebok book boots and 9 points to the great value but not as great value as the Reeboks uh, for the Adidas there. So value for money 8, 10, 9. So that has been the three way head to head between these three great boots. The Nike Hyper KO Reebok book and the Adidas or Adidas 16.1 Speedex boots. This is how the scores have, have gone and you can score this contest for yourself as, as I went through those rounds but this is how, how, how I see it. 114 points for the Nike Hyper KO. 115 points for the Reebok book boots. And 113 points for the Adidas Speedex 16.1. So the winner of this contest, by the narrowest of margins, one point, is the Reebok Book Boots. I think that they are very, very good value. I think they're durable. Also, they're very good for people with wide feet as well. And I think they cover all the bases very well. In that contest so just wanted to bring you that you won't go far wrong if you choose any of these three boots they're all great and they're great to use when you're sparring or in the gym so don't get thinking just because the Reebok has won that you know that's automatically the one that you should choose over these two because as I say there is so much that you will decide yourselves that may tilt it in the, in the direction of maybe the Nike or maybe the Adidas. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.